this is leaving certificate 2016 question 5 paper 1 or 25 marks and the first five numbers in a pattern of numbers are given in the table below and the first question there follow the pattern in the table above to write the next three numbers into the table right so looking at 15 and 13 15 take away 13 is 2 19 take away 15 is 4 25 take away 19 is 6 and 33 if you take away 25 and 33 you get 8 so we can see we pattern there 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 25 plus 8 is 33 33 plus 10 is 43 43 plus 12 is 55 and 55 plus 14 is 69 so to write the next three numbers we've already done it but we could emphasize it here 43 55 and 69 moving on then we're asked to use the data use the data in the table to show that the pattern is quadratic so to show that something is quadratic we're looking for something called a second difference and here we go with the same technique again here 4 take away 2 is 2 6 take away 4 is 2 the difference between the next two here is also 2 8 take away 10 is 2 and the difference between 12 and 10 is 2 and the difference between 14 and 12 is 2 so we have shown that um, the second difference is a constant number doesn't change so that's uh, that's all you need to show there to demonstrate that the pattern is quadratic then in part B we have u sub n equals n squared plus b n plus c where b and c are integers find the value of b and the value of c well we know looking up above that u when this little n here is 1 u of 1 equals 1 squared which is 1 plus b times 1 and b times 1 is just b so u of 1 equals 1 plus b plus the c and the value for that given above was 13 and we can do a similar trick then u sub 2 equals 2 squared 2 squared is 2 multiplied by 2 that's going to give us 4 in this position and b times 2 is 2b so that's 4 plus 2b plus c equals 15 and now we can tidy up all of these uh, equations this uh, first one here I'm going to take one from both sides this is an equal sign here. I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides so that I'll just have b plus c equals 13 minus 1. So that's b plus c equals 12. 13 minus 1 is 12. And in this equation here, 4 plus 2b plus c equals 15. I'm going to throw the 4 across. And that's the shortcut way of doing it, but really I'm not throwing the 4 across. I am subtracting 4 from both sides. So that gives me 2b plus c equals 15 minus 4 is 11. And now with these two guys, we can draw a wee line here and we can subtract the bottom equation from the top equation. So b minus 2b, b minus 2b, what's that going to be? Well, if you weren't sure, you could run it through the calculator. 1b minus 2. So 1 minus 2 will give you a minus 1, whatever it is. And that's a minus 1b. The c, take away c, we've, we're left with nothing there. 12 take away 11 is 1. So that's minus 1 times b equals 1, which is the same as minus b equals 1. But we want to know what b is. So we multiply across by minus 1. Uh, multiplying here by minus 1 
turns that to a positive b and multiplying here by minus 1 gives us a minus 1 so b equals minus 1 that's one of our answers and now we're looking for c well we could use this guy up here one of these original equations b plus c equals 12 uh, b plus c so minus 1 plus c equals 12 add 1 to both sides adding 1 to the left hand side will cause 1 minus 1 gives us 0 so we'll be left with c equals 12 plus 1 is 13 so now we have b and c sorted